Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a space weather update Sunday, January 30th, around noontime, mountain time, 2022. A long duration M1.1 flare occurred over a period of over six hours early last evening. We've been waiting for um, some of the telemetry to come in, and now you're looking at LASCO C2. And you can see Earth is to the left that there was multiple events, two in a row over the six-hour period, causing a coronal mass ejection to be hurled towards Earth. Now the latest update, there you can see, and I'll just blow this up for you, that long duration M flare. When it gets to the yellow there, that's the long duration part. So it, it lasted for hours up at M1.1 and took hours more to fall off the chart. Now today we're still at a solar flare threat with 40% M flare threat, 90% C flare threat. In fact, the X-ray X flux currently now is B7.9, which is basically C range. So anything would flare it up into C. And we do have a 10% X flare probability. Now the long duration flare measuring M1.1 was observed around AR2936, the big spot. Uh, Earth facing in the center of the disk there. And a minor R1 level radio blackout affected the Pacific Ocean, which is you're looking at here. Although still listed as beta magnetic, this spot, 2936, is complex enough to generate even stronger flares during the next 24 hours. And when I woke up this morning, the Enlil spiral was showing nothing, and it's still showing nothing today. There's that M flare. Now, the interesting thing is that over here at the Iswa Signet streamer, about an hour ago, they had a massive flare shooting out towards Earth, and it has been scrubbed. They have erased it. So I don't know what's going on with this flare, but when the powers that be take down information that once showed a CME that we have confirmed on SOHO to have occurred, there it is. We confirmed it's Earth-facing, and it's coming. Here we can check C3. Same plasma headed our way. And none of the other instruments are showing us the predictive nature of this flare. We may revisit this tonight if they do get some data up here. But currently, they have removed the CME data. It is not being imaged here on the Enlil Solar Spiral or ISWA. It was on ISWA earlier this morning. And it is now gone. So according to NASA and NOAA, there is no coronal mass ejection headed our way, even though there is a coronal mass ejection headed our way. Now, what does it mean for you and I? This should arrive sometime around Monday night, maybe Tuesday. And it could bring us up to KP6 or 7. It's not going to be a big geomagnetic event. It will be geomagnetic storm based on the amount of plasma I see here. And it will be a great test for our shields. We, we really need some of these tests, baby steps, before we get a big X flare our way. So we're going to see what this long duration M1.1, pushing all this plasma out towards Earth. We're right about here, over here. And we're going to wait and see what the models say in a few hours. But currently, there's nothing on the Enlil spiral. And the Iswa Sigma streamer has been scrubbed. There was a massive... CME coming towards Earth two hours ago, and now it's gone. So, take it for what you will. And long duration M1.1 solar flare, Earth directed, Earth over to the left, has shot off the sun and is headed our way. Should be here 36 hours from my voice or so. And any questions, leave them below. That's a boom. To knowledge, proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. A long duration M flare is headed our way. And here's an animation using the A1, A211, 193 angstrom and 171 angstrom of the flare. Pretty amazing. Let me get this uh, graphic in here with it. That way you can really enjoy it. And this is a composite of using three different views of the sun brought together, and that's what the composite is. This is the long-duration M1.1 solar flare that occurred about 16 hours ago now. 
from our son. Pretty cool. And again, we're waiting. There is it. There it is again. And we're going to keep a close eye on, on this uh, spot because there is a 90% C flare threat, 40% M flare threat, and 10% X flare threat. And this is 29, uh, active region 2936 we're talking about. So stay tuned and hopefully they'll get some of this uh, telemetry fixed here. And we don't know why they scrubbed it from ISWA. Well, obviously, they don't want us to know the information they know. But hope you got something out of the video. All links will be below. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons, the heroes that share this video. We love you. Be safe. That's about. Mm-hmm.